Ladies and gentlemen, you know where you're at. This is your host with the most. How's everybody doing out there? If you're new here, welcome. Truly glad everybody stopped by. Let's get into it. First of all, I want to shout out my peoples, man, for doing this for me. Um, shout out to the to the master of the box. All right, uh, met these brothers a long time ago. Um, really appreciate them. They know who they are. You'll know who they are too once I get in the ways. I don't know if that name is something. I don't know, but they know who they are, man. Shout out to the uh, Iptos, man. The Ipto man. The Ipto man, the Xbox champions. I never, um, never seen nothing work like that. That's kind of like the only joint I ever put on my Xbox because I knew he was maintaining it. And um, they just, he just did a glorious job on this. I actually asked him. He was one of two, uh, but I asked him first, and he did it for me. Um, we gonna go through it together. Listen, please take a couple of minutes for everything to load. I would do about three to five, okay? Now, um, I have changed mine up a little bit, so if you do want this one, it will. You will um, see it in its entirety. I have changed it up just for the purposes of this video. We're going to go through it right now. But before I go through it, I want to go through system because I feel like um, you could get whatever you want, but if 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 you're not really if you're not gonna do like the the the, the um, things that you need to do as far as system wise, I don't know how your experience would be. But all I want to do is just take off this uh, menu right now. Uh, let me see. Enable auto complete is already on for you. All right. Um. Kind of got the I kind of got this skin now, a little bit down pat. Sometimes people edit it though, and it's not every, not always something there. But I think I got the gist of it. So you do have widgets here. All you guys got to do is push up. They do have widgets here and here. And I'm gonna tell you, the majority of this is pulling from the crew. Okay. Um, nothing wrong with the crew for me right now. Working awesome. Okay. Um, he does have a couple of other things in here. I think he got about 14 joints in here. So you won't you won't be lacking on anything for this particular one. Okay. Um, the reason why I asked him to make it too, because I just wanted to keep one around, man. Um, I kind of heard some other news from him. He might be, sh you know, I don't know. Hopefully not. I'm not even going to put it into existence. Let's just go through this, man. Let's go back into system. Okay. Let's just make sure we on the up and up here. Okay, we are. Um, the first thing I want to do, the first thing you should always do is go here. Okay, and make sure everything is updated, man. That's, that's, that's number one, man. You want to make sure things are updated. So make sure, you know, this is one of the first sections you should be, you know, because sometimes when you get to a setup, things do need to be updated. And you might, you know, be just going through it and things might not be working properly and you, you needed an update. Okay, sometimes it automatically updates too when it comes on, you'll see it. But sometimes it'll update, but it still be showing the updates. I don't know why it does that. And I, I just don't know why. But let's go here. Let's go to video player input stream. Let's make sure both of these are enabled. Now you will see the input stream adaptive. Go ahead and enable that. And for the RTMP input, okay, what we want to do is go here. And once we go into that, we're going to go to all repos. Okay. And then we're going to go right back to video player input stream. And we're just going to enable the RTMP input. Now, just just in case if you get to any other setup and um you know the rtmp input won't let you install if you have the input stream adaptive um you can get the rtp and rtmp input all you have to do 
is shut down your setup. Go to wherever the setup can be, wherever the cache can be cleaned. Clean the cache, come back, and then install it. It'll install. Okay? Little secret tip. All right? <laughs> All right, we're done with that. Um, next thing I want to do, focus on, is player. Okay. And always keep in mind, people, to do this type of stuff, you want to be on advanced or expert. I really don't know why someone would be on advanced and not expert, but, you know, to each his own. So we're going to go over here on videos. And where it has enable HQ scalers for scaling above, Personally, I like to have mines on 100 for all the devices, 3 gigabytes and up, like your NVIDIA Shields and things of that nature. They got some good 4 gigabyte boxes out there too. If you want to try one out, let me know in the comments below. Medium devices like your Fire TVs and Cubes as well as your NVIDIA tubes. Those are 2 gigabyte devices and I tend to like to have that on 50 or 60. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this one comes in on at 50, okay? And for my small end devices, I like to have it on about 20 or 30. Now, for this, for this particular setup, like I said, it comes on 50. If you don't have a medium device, um, you know, it doesn't need to be on 50, okay? Now, I'm not really sure if it can go on 32-bit. I'm not really sure. I haven't tried it. Um, but if you guys do get it on the 32 bit, just remember 20 or 30, okay? But like I said, this is always the section you need to check out, all right? Um, pretty much. Um, I just appreciate the team, you know, him for doing this for me. <clears throat> I really wanted it. Um, all we're gonna do now, not gonna, you know, not gonna take too many of your ticks. I know, you know, some people might be kind of <clears throat> weary of this, but you know, it is what it is. Let's go straight into the wizard. First thing I want to do is go into maintenance. And what I want to do is a total cleanup. Okay, once we do that, all that's left for us to do is to go on tools. And what I want us to focus on on this particular section is full config. You can do quick config, but I want you guys to try this out, see if it works. Uh, I think it works better, but let's go on the full config. Now you can leave the first two alone, the video and the curl, and just go straight to buffer mode. And instead of it being on two, let's try one, okay? After that's done, just go ahead and write your file. Okay. And then it's time for you just to restart your setup. Simple and plain, just like that. Um, nothing really else for me to go to. Like I said, you do have widgets. All you have to do is press up here and here. Okay. And the majority of everything is coming from, from the crew, even though... There's a couple of more things for you to utilize on this one. Check it out. Another tip. Me personally, people, I kind of like to write my advanced settings before I actually get my setup. Works out better for me. If you guys understand what I'm saying, that means don't go get the setup right. Right immediately, just write your advanced settings. And when those boxes pop up, <clears throat> because the majority of the time, you know, you get a whiz, those boxes pop up. Just make sure you click, you check the box that says keep my advanced settings XML. It's real important, okay, if you're going to write it before. And just say if you want to change the setup, you can keep the same advanced settings. So take those boxes seriously. Just don't bypass them and things like that. Let me know how you guys like this one. If you get a chance, like, share, and subscribe, but most of all, comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bells, people. As always, I'm hoping you're having a blessed, peaceful, and a productive day. Love and peace for all. Never forget, it is good to be good, and it is bad to be bad. I'm going to see you guys on the next one, y'all.
peace.